HubSpot tutorial for beginners. Hello guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you a quick tutorial of HubSpot and how to use it for your CRM needs. So let's get into it. First of all, uh, this is basically HubSpot. I have just signed in. Uh, you can sign in by using your email and your password. Uh, it's very easy and you can choose the plan. HubSpot has multiple plans. Uh, there is one available for free. You can start your demo version and there are others that, are, that have some upgraded uh, features that you can use for money. So you can just go on and review the plans and you can see which one you want to get and according to your needs you can uh, continue with the free one or you can continue with an upgraded one so i have a free plan right here and this is basically the main dashboard of hubspot so hubspot is a really great platform for your crm needs crm is basically customer relationship management and that it is a very important aspect when you are doing business so uh, let's see what crm has for us so first of all here you have a menu a bar like you have contacts conversations marketing sales service automation and reports and you have a user guide here as well so you can basically go on to each one of them like marketing hub what does hubspot have for the people who want to access marketing through hubspot or for sales uh, is different for services different operations different cms hub free so let's just go on to contacts first of all if you want to contact anyone like if you want to invite a team member so it is very easy what you need to do is you just need to click on this option uh, which says add contacts and you can invite a team uh, add a contact into your hubspot or you can invite a team member the contact can be uh, from your uh, it can be your customer contacts and you can import a spreadsheet if you have one or you can sync from your google contacts you can continue with that or you can import from mailchimp you can sync from zoho and you also have a sync from pipe drive so you can explore the data uh, sync the data from these spaces and you can uh, directly have your data into the hubspot uh, crm uh, hubspot contacts so you can have all of your customer contacts into hubspot and you can also invite a team mate to your hubspot for you know you can have if you have a business and you have different members doing different kind of tasks in the team so you can invite them onto your workspace so that they can access everything from here as well so you can just uh, what you need to do is you have to enter the email of that person that you want to invite and you just need to click on this option which says send invites an email will be sent to that specific person that you want to add and like for example this is the email that i want to send an invite to i just clicked on send invite and here you can see the invite has been sent to uh, this person uh, this email and whenever they will click on that they will directly access your workspace on hubspot and they will be able to uh, get the information that is available on the workspace so you can uh, invite team members like that then you can just go on to your con uh, conversation whatever contacts that you're going to have are going to be here and you can just click on the contacts and you can see who is in the contact list and what are who are your customers and what are your team members you can see everything right here so here you can see this is basically the name the email you can have the phone number contact owner unassigned you can have the primary company who did who did they belong to the last activity lead status and all of the activities right here then you have my contacts right here then you have unassigned contacts and you can add a view into this into your contacts as well what uh what view do you want you can have uh, marketing contacts my recently assigned contacts you have uh, uncontacted need emails follow up and so you can basically add these views into your list and you can see them as well when you open your contacts so here you can see you can see all the views uh, when you click on that you will access all the views that are available regarding your contacts on hubspot so you can just go on and see that if you need to access any of one of them so here you can see okay so the next thing is marketing uh in the marketing of hubspot hubspot have various options you can make ads with hubspot you can make email with hubspot you can make landing pages they are very important you can do email marketing with hubspot as well like you can send uh invites you can uh, market your things through emails by sending emails to your customers then you have your landing pages as well you can send a landing page in an email as well you have a website you can create a whole website with hubspot it uh, basically lets you create hub website pages and blogs as well you have your social this feature is included in marketing hub professional it is uh, available for the professional version so you need to upgrade to access these features like social seo and campaign features you also have design tools right here and you can also create forms with hubspot then you have sales for the sales you have deals then you have forecast and tasks you have documents meetings payments playbooks uh, and quotes as well so let's go on to tasks and let me show you how you can create a task and how you can assign tasks to different person for example this is the main dashboard when you open tasks in your sales 
now you can basically search the task title from here and you can see if you have a, a lot of tasks you can search your task from here then you have due today you can all only access the tasks that uh, are due today and that have a deadline today then you have overdue like if any task has passed its deadline then you can see uh, the overdue tasks here you can basically go on and check these out unpin or you can make default here or you can clone this then you have upcoming tasks right here whatever is whatever needs to be done and it has an approaching uh, deadline so you can you are going to see it right here then you can add the view as well uh, you have all completed due today most engaged and upcoming and everything so these are all the views that you can add right here and you will access them from uh, you know switching from one bar to another so here you can see you have assignees you have more options as well so you have different filters task status is none of completed assigned to is any of me and due date okay so you can add filters if you want to then you can edit columns and you can save this view now if you want to create a task you need to click on this option right here and it is going to open this uh, side box and here you're going to create your task first of all you have to give your task a title for example i'm creating a task i'm going to give the title test task so now what uh, what type of task it is like it is a to-do task it is a call or email you can choose that from right here and then you can choose the priority of the task uh, if it is a high highly important like you need it urgent then you can uh, you know have the priority labeled as high so whenever the person whoever it is assigned to they will know that it is a high priority task and they will do this one before they do anything else so you can associate with records if you have any records right now you can associate the th this task with the specific deal or ticket or company that you already have so you can associate the task to that so that it is easy for the person who is assigned the task to know what it is actually about so then you can assign it to anyone i'm assign, uh, assigning it to myself right now I, I can assign it to the other person that i invited then you have your queue uh, if you have a queue like a queue of tasks like uh, it is uh, if it is a series of tasks that you can add a, it a queue whatever queue you have if you don't have a queue i don't have anything so i'm just going to let it be right now then you have your due date in three business days so the three business days according to today is going to be wednesday or it can be anything like uh, i want it uh, on february 3 in the first week that is february 3 then you can assign a um, time as well when do you want it let's say i want it around 5 15 pm that's okay and set to repeat you can uh, you know choose the that option you can only create repeating tasks for paid users okay so i do not have access to that option then you have a reminder you can uh, add task due time 30 minutes before or one hour one day before so i have set a reminder that uh on the february 2 this person will be given a reminder that you ha are, have an approaching due date that you need to submit a task and then you have notes if you have any uh, details about the task like you need to use this and do this and if you have any instructions you can add it in the notes and then you are going to click on this option create and this is how the task is going to be created and it is going to show itself right here in the task bar wait a second let me go to all okay so it's not updated right now but uh when i will refresh the page it is going to show itself right here so this is how you can basically make tasks on hubspot okay so the next thing is basically service when you go into service you have a couple of options you can make tickets on hubspot if you click on this option you're going to have tickets so you can see that ticket owner create a date and you can uh, last activity date and priority of the ticket so you can create all of these tickets you can see all the pipelines you can uh, edit the pipelines from this option and it has zero record right now because this is a new profile so you can create a ticket from this option or you can import it as well if you click on the create you're going to see another sidebar like the one that we created the task for and you have to fill in all of this information ticket name pipeline uh, pipeline ticket status description and source so you can basically go on and create that and your ticket will be updated here and you will be able to see that and then you ha we have automation in the automation we have sequences and workflows but this is only available for the premium version so we cannot access that and then you have reports you have analytics tool dashboards and reports like for example let me go to the dashboard and you're going to access all of the things that are happening on your hubspot right there and you can basically access them and see your analytics your crm analytics your project management analytics your tasks your markets everything is going to be on your dashboard so when you open that you can basically create a quick overview of what is happening uh, your chat overview you can have an email overview you have a marketing overview marketing channel performance you can add that onto your hubspot and you will be able to see everything in a very easy manner so this is how you can use hubspot it is a very good platform and it is also very easy to use and it has a lot of features that you can use uh, and that are going to help you in maintaining and organizing your business and also to elevate that so this was it for today's video i hope i was a big help please give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you.